Okay. Hello. Hi. What you doing? <clears throat> so we've got these pattern rollers now, and uh, although it seems like a very simple piece of equipment, um, there have been a few questions about how the various elements all work together. So what we're going to try and do is quickly paint this pair of jeans, but before we do that, Whose I want to show... Whose pair of jeans are those? They're definitely not mine. Okay. I don't wear bell bottoms yet, but... <laughs> okay. the, the priming of the roller, it's not a, it's not a very big, big process. It's a, it's a simple process. Use a little bit of Granny B's paint. It will probably work with the other brands of, of chalk paint out there, but um, we recommend Granny B's, obviously. It's a good quality paint. We haven't hiked our prices. Uh, we're still 199 a litre. Um, we suggest you do a bit of shopping, comparative shopping on the websites. But anyway, uh, our Granny Bees fans know the product, so we don't have to carry on about that. But let's talk about the roller for a little bit. So you prime this roller, take a little bit of your paint, and the idea is to cover the roller. We're not trying to drench our, our pattern in, in the paint. We want just enough paint on the sponge. So I'm gonna work the little bit of paint that we've got and if I need to add more just want to make sure that I'm getting enough paint onto the sponge if you really want to make sure that you, you're getting it right just carefully dribble a little bit of the paint over the sponge as long as it gets there in the end so we'll continue to work and prime this roller it's not the best paint tray as you can see it's been very well used in its life we don't want to soak it. Let's have a look there. So you'll see, we can still see some of the sponge if you look up really close. I don't want to put too much paint, but I also don't want too little. So let's just get some of this paint onto that roller. Okay. Continue to work it from all angles. Right. So you are going to get your fingers a little bit dirty. So once you've primed, but it's water based, so easy to get off your Easy hands to get off. I really don't mind getting this stuff. It's kitty safe. Um, it's not poison. It's not going to kill you. It doesn't have any harmful content in it, really, at the end of the day. So you can literally eat the stuff um, if, you've, if you felt you had to. But again, you never let's talk hungry. about the rollers. So once you've, you've primed the roller and you've loaded it up, you need to make sure that your pattern is making full contact with the roller. So what I like to do is it's usually, that you, you see where the notches are? For me, that's the perfect setting. And once I've got it in there, what I like to do is turn it by hand so that I get that roller fully primed before I put my first stroke down. Okay, so I think we're good to go. That's what the apron's for. Better do this nicely. Okay, let's give it a bash. All the way up? No. Stop, stop at the pocket. Oh, I'm not really happy with no, that. No, it looks nice. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I love it. No, it looks awesome. What is it in the back of my leg? Yeah, that's how you gave me the jeans. Uh, I would have liked it in the front. So I'll see how you go with it. So maybe we should do one leg in the front. The opposite leg. Okay, well, I'm happy with that, so... Okay, but I'm going to over and out here now. Okay. 